and welcome back guys, welcome back to Sexy Gothic 3 where I, an amazing demon, when playing amazing game called Gothic 3. And last time we got killed by Shrek over there, <laughs> and I'm not gonna be attacking this time. I'm actually just looking for a little bit of bundles of weapon and joy, so I can give that to rebels. We only need one them bundle of weapon. Now there might be a lot of bundles of weapon inside uh, orc settlements, uh, but uh, getting them is gonna be probably freaking hard. So I'm just gonna now just overlook a few areas, have fun, and again, there must be a few more orc patrols who carry those orc weapons. Is well, should I say the human weapons that the dwarves can't use? But there are a few buildings here and there occupied probably by more Shreks. That one Shrek, he could be pro. Well, he is definitely one of the stronger opponents. Uh, hard to kill with a crossbow, so my crossbow way of killing stuff is gonna be non existent with these guys. It seems there are more of them down there. OMG, I was thinking these guys were more of a. No, that, that those are goblins. Goblins and those Shreks look completely the same, to be honest. Uh, but easier to kill, if anything, I mean, <laughs> we could utilize again the cliffs. I don't think they can get up here. Let me just a little bit kill. Maybe we can kill a few guys here. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, we should be able to kill a few guys here. Like this, utilize these beautiful cliffs. And part of they can't really get close to where the crossbow and killing. Again, getting a few XP and getting close to that one more level to game. We need only 10 uh, more points to actually, well, we need only one more level to uh, get at a more better sw swordmanship. Swordmanship? Swordmanship. <laughs> we got that amazing stuff and it's gonna be beautiful. Thank you very much. You are all completely dead. I might kill you with the sword, but I'm not gonna take that chance. Thank you very much. Give me 50 XP. Thankfully, they do give 50 XP. Now, that Shrek might not like the goblins, but the goblins and Shrek, as I said, they look completely the same. Well, not completely. They look a little bit different. The Shrek is much of a bigger, kind of a manlier man than these gobos. I'm going to say the goblins in this game completely look different compared to the goblins in the previous games. Those were very smaller kind of guys. These guys are almost, almost tall as our unnamed hero man here. Thank you for dying. Uh, but again, it's a nice thing. We might find some kind of a cave beneath here. Who knows? There might be some more loot over here. There, there are a bunch of destroyed buildings. We usually never find anything inside of them. Though we did find that one wolf skin in the in one of the destroyed buildings inside of the settlement, the orcish settlement. That is. So again, might happen, might not. We'll see. We'll see. We're gonna just at least kill a few things here and there. Get an, that beautiful XP, and lure even some enemies this way, like. Maybe if we can and again utilize this hilly terrain to my advantage of getting that XP that always needed XP But again, this is something very familiar to anyone who played God as I said This is quite normal in God games if you're gonna utilize terrain usually utilize it if you can utilize Whatever you can to bug a little bit <laughs> the AI if you will uh, Come on get over here. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna I'm actually gonna allow it for the goblins to get a little bit closer to me. I did not save. And I missed. I missed the fucking goblin. I can't believe he was standing there like a beast of burden. Oh, somebody's fighting again. Okay, gobo. I'm only gonna utilize a lag against you. Yeah, the lag of a thousand lags. Will I kill him? The game completely stopped. <laughs> They're completely frozen. I, I, I got hit, of course. Thank you very much, Gabe. Thank you very much. But to be honest, I'm amazing. So now we'll find a bunch of stuff inside these beauties. Thank you very much. Excellent, excellent. Cardials because we can sell those beauties. Beautiful. Okay. Excellent. And let's get more of these goblins. I can't believe goblins actually even have money on them. Like, hell's bells. Why do they need coins? Maybe they just give them, like, take it just because they shine. Oh, there it is. There's the Shrek himself. Like, holy crap. I'm not gonna get over too close to hit that beast. He will easily kill us. There's another one up to this point here, I believe. I can't see him at the moment. But you seem they're holding this area tightly. Quite an evil thing of them to do, of course. And here he comes. He's like, I want to kill you, but I'm not like, fuck that, son. Fuck that. I'm just trying to collect few things, man. Why would you attack me? Holy shit, there's another one that scared the living crap out of me. 
Will I be able to escape this area? Yes, I will be able to escape this area. There's some gravestones or something. Good for them, I guess. Just let's get the GTFO out of here. Maybe find another place. That place had nothing. There was like one beautiful coffin of gold or something. But Hell's Bells, I'm not gonna risk dying yet again. I should save to be honest. Cause let's be honest, we're fudged. Even the boar can kill us. <laughs> Even the boar can kill us. <coughs> but again, it's really gonna be a good thing as soon as I get those 10 because I wanna see if there is an animation difference like in previous games when you do get better at utilizing certain things. It does seem that definitely scavengers, boars and wolves do not like each other whatsoever. It's not a problem for me, but I like that addition again that the the actually the neutral creatures, well neutral creatures, the regular creatures, the regular Joes can actually fight each other, hate each other and all that. That's always a nice addition to me in games. Do we even need that wolf? Let's avoid the wolf. If he doesn't attack us, oh he is guarding something that I need it would seem. My need, we may need actually. You know what? Get over here, wolf. Not that. <laughs> Come on! Attack me! Attack me, you boss! No, not like that time. I have to kill you first. Oh, man! Even with so much strength and everything, we are still fucking weak as, as far as... Well, quite understandable, again. It is Gothic game, above all. And in the gaming games, you are always fucked. Now, I was talking about alternative AI in a previous video. And by that, I mean that they, the thing that they, what they lowered is aggressiveness of the creatures. And how fast they attack. And I mean, they were really fast. I, that's what I remember most. But I don't know how the fuck did I succeed after all. Like, I've been through all, almost all the lands of Mirthana, if you will, of this main world, whatever it's actually called. I don't know actually, actually how it's called, the, entire, the entirety of the world, how it's the exact name of it. Uh, but, nonetheless, been everywhere almost, and I don't know how the fuck I level. I probably just skipped most of the stuff and just went for the quests, because that's how I like to roll, so to speak. But Hell's Bells, they are quite evil indeed. When you, I mean, you have a choice and all that, and that's nice. Okay, so the wolves, like, they're like, well, you know what? I don't care. I'm just, I'm just guarding this chest because it's mine. And uh, yeah, definitely nothing in these buildings for now. I'm not finding anything. Like I did like what the bubble I loved about previous games is the amount of little stuff you can find everywhere. We might utilize these deers. Like maybe the the wolf immediately will chase them. No, he won't. Okay, so he's definitely guarding that chest. Well, that's okay. So yeah, well, like in, you can not find chats. You find little things uh, like all like everywhere from little coins and there like that. Like it doesn't have to be a chest. But in this one, particular, you find so many chests. It's getting a little bit ridiculous. Is that ew, is that is that is something that can enter? Is that like a? Let me see. A tunnel of sorts. Yes, it's a tunnel of love, guys. I found a tunnel of love again. Okay, well I'm gonna leave the tunnel of love for now. I want that chest that the evil uh, Wolfancy is holding, but I'm gonna have to kill him somehow. Is there nothing else to pick up? Okay. Like nothing, that's okay. Like absolutely nothing? Really? Come on. Come on, something nice. Well, you know what? I can utilize my jump technique. And where's the wolf now? Oh, they're both attacking the boar. Okay. <laughs> Well, that's what I, I was expecting him to attack that boy at some fucking point. And, oh my god, a lot of stuff found. Okay, well, thank you very much for moving. I did, again, that's a nice addition. That's actually the best addition to uh, Gothic series as a whole. Like, the addition to the regular Wolfenzies. There are that, that creature mechanic, if you will, where they just can't stand each other. And that's a nice addition in any game. I mean, that was in, like in Doom games, since Doom games most people avoided utilizing that in even shooters, especially shooters that is, that the mechanic where the certain creatures will not like each other and they will be attacking each other or something like that, if they accidentally get hit of course, but still, it was 
still an amazing stuff to see back then and, as, and again not not used by many things I do remember if I'm not mistaken it was supposed to be like that in in the Elder Scrolls Oblivion where the world will be so much reactive and all of that in terms of that kind of stuff where the wolves will hunt deers and all that I can't remember if I ever saw that that much to be honest until the mods came and mods actually added a lot of stuff and I'm always grateful for mods in any game as the mods are the pivotal point of any game for the lot that is the lifespan of any game is are the is the modding community and of course an evil and holy union of an insect and, and a crab the mind crawler uh, I will be like able to easily kill this son of a bitch it's like it's not supposed to be hard well it shouldn't be hard we already killed a bunch of these guys before we actually before we utilize this the, we utilize the bow <clears throat> okay, run away. This uh, crossbow, as you can see, is quite slower to utilize and manage than the bow. Come here, mine crawler. Come here. I might lure to the wolf, so the wolf will be attacking him. Come. Oh, wow. You want to come? Well, I will come for you. Oh, come on. Don't run away. Did I hit him? I did not hit him. And she immediately runs away like a little bitch. Look at him, he immediately changes his entire stance and he's like, well, you know what, fuck this. Yeah, the aggressiveness is much lower than I remember compared to like the before the patching, community patches and all that. But you can't live without like uh, community patches in the end when it comes to games that have long time been abandoned by the developers and of course the publisher. Yeah, yeah, come on, not not the snake. We need a mine crawler. There are two mine crawlers now. Holy mother of God! And I missed him. Well, they are guarding, but that's a lot of snakes. Thankfully, there are no snake enemies. Oh, come on! You gotta, you gotta be kidding me that I'm missing him. How many of them? Okay, well, you know what? I'm attacking you first because I'm amazing. Thank you very much. Run away now. Thank you very much. With the Orc Slayer, the Redeemer, the Destroyer. No way, run away. Now, I want to lure them again, not down to this building. I can jump on it and then kill these guys. Um, would be much easier. Do I even have that bone bow? I, th I think I have a bone bow still. That would be amazing to utilize. Yes, I'm here. Come on, attack me. I'm here. Get over here first. Yes, no Wolfensies. I can't see these bastards. Again, I would like to lure them to the Wolfensies, considering they are less aggressive on me and more aggressive upon the other things. And that one is running away now, like a little bitch he is. Get over here. Oh, did I find another nice part where they cannot get close to me? But that's only one, and that's not the one I wanted. Let me see. Can I actually lure you completely here? Yes, I can. Thank you very much. Excellent. Now stay there. J just stay, stay, stay there. Thank you. Excellent. Oh, nice amount of damage there by me and my sexy crossbow. Yes, again, uh, not as dangerous as the X mine crawlers from the previous game, especially from the first one. The first one really had some evil mine crawlers. There were really some sick crap right there. The most, as I said, most memorable moments are fighting with my crawlers. And uh, this one is a very easy to kill, like. But again, there has to be a warrior mind crawler probably down the line. By the way, who won in this battle here? Of awesome. Wolf or a boar? Well, two wolfensies were here. Can't find any of them now. Oh well, who cares? Moving on, we did get the chest, which is very important. Now to kill the last mine crawler inside. See what exactly we can find there. Too bad that one did not follow us completely, as that one is much more injured. I'm gonna heal myself because I can make potions and I can have fun that way. Then I mean, it's less than you. I mean, in previous games, you only utilize the rations of the regular sort, food and see of any kind. Even plants themselves, uh, but now that we can, we got to the alchemy first level alchemy skills immediately. It's it's much easier, of course. Uh, let's see, where is the mine? Cr oh, there you are. You healed completely. As you can see, the moment you allow them a little bit to heal, it's a 
GG. You have to kill them again. Well, you have to shoot them again for them to get killed by you. Uh, let's go, Minecrawler. Same dealio. Same freaking dealio. Come on. Though I should be utilizing the bow, uh, to be honest. It's much easier to kill these guys with the bow as we have seen before. Come on, dance. Dance, you bastard. Oh, there's like a, this one specific point that they can't approach you. Oh, no, they can't approach. That's for sure. They're definitely less aggressive. I mean, the previous games, they would just jump on you. They wouldn't stop eating you. That was the like the one of the things that the I mean in general all the gotta games have aggressive enemies really aggressive especially orcs and all that they shouldn't give up that easily you know I should try the standard AI of the game not the rebalanced AI because I have a feeling even though people say it's unbalanced that aggressive kind of an attack to me is much like much terrifying than this kind of a crappiness where they're just like hey I'm gonna follow you then I'm gonna leave you alone because you're just that amazing thank you very much stay where you are do not move do not flinch Ooh, right in his brain thank you I'm thankful again that we do a lot of damage across the compared to the bow but again 100 damage my health but that means he has a lot of fucking hit points and I only have like what 200 hit points or something like that Ridiculous. And there's a scavenger. I was thinking that was a snapper. I was thinking he was hunting also something. Come on, Minecrawler. Die already. I have one more shot. And I'm gonna then take everything you have in your evil cave of beautiful things. Thank you. Okay, let's get the FO out of here. Excellent. Now that sadly again we cannot really get anything from the mine crawlers, so there's no point to actually going for their bodies. Their sexy, sexy bodies. And let's see what we can find here. I accept. I mean, we did find mine crawlers and a lot of fucking snakes. Thankfully, they do not attack. Thankfully. And that's it. That's a little small cave and Z. Okay, fine by me. Let's see what we found. We just regular bow, a quarter staff. Nice. This is usually, of course, uh, utilized by the magicians of fire, or novices, as if you will. There you go. Nice, nice amount of stuff there. Well, again, it's all about selling. Because again, we do need. We are that close to getting a new armor, and I will get that new armor, uh, considering that how much damage we can easily get. Fuck everything else. Uh, okay, transformation potions. I'm gonna keep those maybe or may even sell them. Rusty sword. A snake. How close are we to the level up? Uh, let's see. Oh, well, I was thinking of killing a bunch of snakes and maybe I'm gonna get that way easily, but no. Nope. No way. No how. And again, I'm quite disappointing. I was expecting more, but that's okay. Let's get the magic root. Uh, is that it? Is that it? Uh, did I miss a chest? I think I missed... No, I didn't miss a chest. I did not miss any of the chests, right? Let me just get towards this chest, because usually they have redness over them. If I missed... No, yep, yeah, okay. Okay, it's all good. Uh, that sword seemed... Okay, thank you very much, Skeletor. I needed that. Is that it? Is that all I have here? Bunch of crappy chests with nothing in them? Uh, okay, well, that's fine. Moving on, at least we did get some XP and something out of those chests. We're that close, guys. We're that close to leveling up. Not really, but uh, I'm gonna get some money out of this. How much money do we have? Oh, wow. We are that close to getting the new armor. Like, I definitely need the new armor. I don't care which armor it is. Though, I would still wonder, considering that's a rebel's armor, will they attack me of the orcs if I get overly too close to, their, to them in my rebel armor? I mean, if it's a faction kind of an armor and all that, it might be so. We'll see. What the hell is that? Is that just a tree? Yes, it is. Okay. So there's absolutely nothing there. I'm going to explore a little bit here and there. If we find something interesting, it's going to be cool. If not, oh well. Killing a few scavengers would not be a problem also. 
But considering the amount of stuff we did get now, we might be able to just immediately get the armor and then come back if we really want to hunt for more enemies and stuff like that. How far are we from the encampment, I wonder? I don't think we are that far away, though. Whoa, look at that. Amazing skills. I like that. Holy shit, what the fuck are you? What the fuck are you? Are you are you an orc? Oh, yeah, that's not an orc. Hey, wolf sweet. I don't know what that... Oh, well, there you are. Shrek or a gobbo. One of those things. That's for sure. Let me just see what the hell it is. A cowardly goblin. A scavenger. Dude, dude, don't attack me, man. Okay. A cowardly goblin. That's the first cowardly goblin I ever saw in my life. I mean, they're all cowardly. So they're definitely like named creatures, right? What the hell? I was, like, I was thinking something was... Oh, rebel. Hey, it's a rebel. Wow, rebel encampment right here. Always a good thing to see. I'm sure you have something else to do. Yeah, well, if you have some bundles of weapon, I will likely take them. No? Okay, I asked Arman. Stop right there. Not a step further. <coughs> Calm down. I'm not out to get you. By Enos. I almost took you for one of those wretched orc mercenaries. Aren't you afraid the orcs might get you? Orcs are careless and noisy when they roam the woods. I can hear them half a mile away. The only plague that is getting to me is those horrible goblins. You are more afraid of goblins than of orcs? Scared? I am not scared at all. The goblins will creep around the camp at night and steal everything I've got. There must be a whole nest of those cowardly goblins somewhere close by. They yeah, found them. <laughs> You're talking about cowardly goblins? I know where one is. Tell me about the area here. You were in the wilderness here. No cities anywhere. That mountain range to the north separates the coastal region from the Midlands. Keep following the path to the west, and you'll eventually get to Montera. Provided the bandits don't cut your throat first, that is. I can deal with bandits. I can't deal with scavengers. What will you pay me to get rid of the goblins? You mean so I wouldn't have to keep an eye on my things all the time? Hmm. I guess that would be worth 100 gold coins to me. I will do away with those cowardly goblins for you. Well, have fun then. Goblins are awfully nimble little bastards. Don't let them surround you. But you're done for. Yeah, I can barely kill one goblin in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Interested in a little trade? Depends on what you have, really. Show me your... Show me your good! Okay, absolutely nothing, but remember we can actually sell. And orc weapons do go for a lot. And that's always a nice thing. A rusty battle axe, a regular bow, a cartridge, and a bunch of rusted pieces of crap. Let's go gold balance. And that's it. And we have enough to buy a new armor, enough for just to have to buy something down the line. I am happy and I'm going back to immediately to the rebels and getting a new armor. I don't care for the goblins, we'll come back for the goblins and some kind of a timed evil quest of evil. Uh, wait, where the hell is demon? For, for, why? I believe that's still a road to uh, one of our friendlier nations. I'm gonna follow that road. And there's a boar. Okay, well, not follow that throw. I'm gonna follow this road that I just made up. Oh, another boar. Hey, boar. Holy shit, he is really another pissed one of those off. Beasts. There are more of the beasts. Holy mother of God, he's fast. Thankfully, I can jump like a god. Yeah, fight. If you die, I do not mind. Just say, oh, an arrow. I'll take that arrow. Maybe I'll help you out. I mean, I do need an XP, and that wild boar looks very strong. And my crossbow is very strong also, so that's gonna help me. Hopefully, we do not allow that bowman to actually get the last kill. And as I say... Thank you! And as I say that, he doesn't have any more arrows, it would seem. Nice. By my predictions, I believe that's a road to that evil Cap Cape Dunn. Cap Cap Dunn. Uh, so, 
We might get over there. Let's see. A map. Yeah, that I, I know my locations for fuck's sake. But we do not need that. We have a teleportation stuff. So let's utilize the teleportation stuff. Uh, Ardia to Redduck. Oh, let's... Oh, shit. You know, you guys suck ass. Yeah, me too. Thankfully, I have another... <laughs> I have more bolts to have fun with. And get another 100 XP. Okay, Rebel, without cause. Will you move away? So I can actually kill the damn thing. One more, do not kill him. It's mine. You showed him. Thank you. Well, that takes care of that. Yeah, definitely the NPCs in general are not that strong compared to the previous games. You can easily kill them. But understandable because you now have to choose a side. You have massive amount of factions and you have to choose a side between the orcs and everything. You can immediately start fighting. Uh, let's get a teleporter. Let's see how this is gonna work. I'm gonna save because who knows what's gonna happen. We haven't saved in a while and I usually tend to fuck up there because again, if you don't save, you get easily killed. There are no out of save features as far as I know. And welcome back after 500 minutes <laughs> of of loading to the beautiful Redduck. Now I can finally finish off what I need to finish off. Uh, okay, am I done with the orcs completely? It would seem. Oh yeah, he is the one selling everything I need. Show me your goods. Show man. me your. Okay, now we can actually buy the 5K. It's a nice amount of protection against blades, impact, and missiles. I like that. Military scout, that's 5k, that's 20k for a rebel armor. So I'm just gonna go with the light rebel armor because I'm amazing. You're alright. Okay, and that's all I can do actually. Let's go with the gold balance and trade. Thank you very much. And that's it. Now we have a new armor. A new sexy armor. There you go. The difference is just in coloring. Thank you very much, game. The difference is the coloring. <laughs> oh, come on! Ah, well, there you go, amazing stuff. You know, I, I believe also the changed uh, the amount of things you can, how much you can sell something for and all that. But still the point is that we now have 20, 30, 25, 25 compared to this crappy stuff that we had before. 15, 15, 15, 15 well, 15, 15, 10. Now we are a little bit better and hopefully again that impact. I, think, I believe that's against mostly like the anything that hits you anyway, so it means also animals and all that. I don't think the previous games actually had that. Like the input, they hit against blades and missiles and that's about it. Maybe it was just an attack or something, who knows, I don't know. There you go, excellent. Now we have a new armor, the new sexy armor, the rebel armor, which is just a recoloring of the most regular peasantry. Uh, which probably tells us that, does that? The military scouter, which is used for in ranks of the rebels. Yeah, there you go. I mean, that's just that's just crappy. I mean, that's just crappy right there. Max endurance. That's never a bad thing. Max life energy. Protection against ice and protection against energy in general. So now with that we left that part. Where the hell are we gonna be going? That's the question. Ah yes, we need a bundles of weapons. I'm gonna probably just go. To this farm here we see what the hell actually happened in the on the farm because it seems that nobody is occupying it anymore wild berries i have to have one of those oh i haven't been here in this chest of good amazing stuff let's let's lag a little bit before we can actually open the chest thank you uh let's see booze again nothing special mostly food in general which again not like we need it comp like we can make so many things now well potions in like in mass it's not gonna be hard, at least, to make potions. Them evil orcs. Yeah, that's about it. There is nothing here. We killed those bandits over there, so there must be a bandit stronghold very close by. Like, very, very close by. I would like, again, to, to receive these guys, like, maybe they join the rebels or something, they help out the rebels, or maybe they help us in general just to kill off the orc scum. And yeah, they really didn't have anything here, like, anything. Wait, is that something there behind? Yeah, a casket, what? Oh, wow, wow, really? Wow, they had hit something with, wow, really? I was like, what the hell is that? So, 
Oh, wait, wow, I did not see that. <laughs> nice. So bundles of weapons and joy. Now I can go back to the rebels and give them the bundles of weapons and finish that quest out immediately. Get some nice XP. If nothing else, at least we finished one more quest. Amazing stuff. Again, this is definitely a rebel outfit. But the game doesn't tell us that if we are in with this, maybe, you know, like, it's gonna provoke the, the Orkansy. Hopefully they won't, it won't, I mean, but Hell's Bells, you never know what's gonna actually happen. I mean, we can be with mercenaries, we can be with rebels, and of course, that's about it, right? I mean, they're the most two general faction. There are nomads and there are other things out there. But in general, two main faction are probably just the rebels in and the orcs, and that's it. And of course, in the orcs, you only have like the mercenary armors, and that's that's like the main thing. Not like you can actually wear orc armor. But that's fine by me. And we can hear a smithy working, or a smith working in the smithy. Excellent. Okay, Javier. Go mind your own business. Uh, I guess you're not the dude that I was, that I was supposed to talk to. Again, it's probably Desperus and Norris. Here are five bundles of weapons. Very good. That will help. Here is some gold for your trouble. Excellent. So it's nothing really OMG, I guess, huh? Yeah, nothing OMG. I was expecting something more, but that's okay. Let me think. Uh, okay, he's not interested in the challenge, so that means that now the next objective is to cause some rebellion inside Cape Dunn. Thank you very much, stranger. I will never forget what you did for me. Take this as a token of my gratitude. Excellent. Now the smith is actually saying we're amazing and sexy like a beast. Show me your... So let's see what he has. He has, of course, blueprints, a ruby blade. Wow, man, look at that. That's a lot of gold just to get, like hell's motherfucking bells. I really a lot of gold. That, no way. No way, no how. But that's fine. That's fine. I'm gonna end here, guys. I'm gonna end the video here. I wish you the very best as always. You'd better go now. I will. And of course, that's gonna be a GG. I don't know, still don't know why they're kinda like they should position more scouts up there and at the end of the freaking thingy. But that's okay. Unless I wish you the very best. And next time we continue on somewhere else.